Okay, so firstly, rubbing the palms and rubbing the face. Great, okay, taking the fingers to the thumb and the pointer finger, circling inward. All right, then taking the knuckles of the pointer finger, circling inward there. Okay, taking the thumb just here. Good, okay, placing the thumbs here by the temple, come across from the inside eyebrow to out. Continue. All right, then we'll do the underside. All right, great. Then suction cupping it to the ears. All right, taking the fingertips, tapping front to rear. Good, okay, taking the palm, pulling downward gently. Just tracing the throat down, esophagus down. All right, and then pulling forward. Okay, good. Thumping, thumping the back of the head. So if you've forgotten where the positioning is, it's here. Okay. All right, hands on the hips, circling the hips. And the other direction. All right, then turning the waist. Letting the arms swing freely. Again, the back of the hands gently wrapping across the kidney on each side. Uh, okay, uh, rubbing the palms together and the knees.
Okay, we're just going to warm the legs up a little bit. So step out wide and kind of sit down. Get the shift from one side to the other. Keep the tailbone underneath as you do so. You don't want to do like this. You want to bring, you want to keep the tailbone underneath. Keep the head upright. Okay, good. Relax and shake it out. Okay, rubbing the back of the kidneys over the kidney regions. Okay, good. Patting the bagua circles. Uh, there are other Qigong systems that have padding on the entire body, a, a wider range of uh, uh, pats along the body, along the arms, and the legs, and certain areas in the lower kidneys, and upper back here. Uh, we won't go into that, but uh, that's out there to explore too if you want. But for our, the Wudang Qigong system, we really try to get the torso warmed up and try to get the the house of the organs enlivened here, right? When you're patting along the arms and along the legs and the limbs of the body, you're invigorating the uh, ex extension of the meridians out from the organs to their, their endpoints, right? All right, am um, I leaving anything out? Flap the wrists. All right, excellent. Okay, go ahead and place palm over palm and relax and take a few breaths just to relax the body. Okay, feel the crown of the head open, feel the bubbling well points open. Relax, relax from the face down all the way through your feet. Found the link, gosh. I don't know how to keep it so I can have it always get into. Okay, go ahead and, and mute yourself, Moira, okay? Okay, one second here. So from your position here, just relax the hands to the side, okay? And then we're gonna visualize our points here at the uh, inner corner of the eyes. And we're gonna trace down, visualize, how many fingers like I'm doing, I'm just pointing it out for reference for you, down the front span of the body, down through the legs out through the, the foot and the second toe. So just breathe, visualize those two channels, those two symmetrical channels down the front span of the body. And 
It is primarily, initially, a visualization exercise. You just want to trace down the span. You don't need to know the exact location of that meridian at this point. Okay, the next one we're going to do here, just at the uh, forward part of the ear, coming up over the ear, down, tracing down the arm, and out through the second finger. Okay, so again, on both sides, this is a bilateral visualization, coming over the ear, down across the shoulder, down the arm, out through the second finger. Okay, and then lastly here at the inner point of the eyebrow on each side, coming up over the crown of the head, down the back of the neck, along each side of the spine, down through the buttocks, the back of the legs, down through the bottom of the feet, and then also out through the second toe. So starting here at the inner point of, of the eyebrow on each side, visualizing up over the crown of the head, down along the spine, on each side of the spine, down through the buttocks, legs, and out through the feet. Good. And then lastly, we're going to do just a few breaths in our microcosmic orbit. Okay, so touch your tongue to the roof of the mouth. Pull up gently at the perineum point, the, the spot between your, uh, your anus and your reproductive organs. So just pull up gently, not a lot of tension. Gently pulling up will close that uh, gate channel as we're touching the tongue to the roof of the mouth. We'll just breathe in. When you breathe in, you want to visualize coming up the back. Inhale up the back, over the crown of the head. When you exhale, going down the front of the body, either to the dantian, or if you want a continuous loop, continue it down again to the earning point. And then inhale up, inhale, inhale, inhale. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, 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 up the back. Exhale, 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 down the front. So take a few breaths in, in that loop. Okay, relax. Taking three opening or gathering breaths, collecting breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. 
workout. Okay. Okay, young dragon goes to the ocean. Step out to the left. Yeah, thumbs leading up. Pinkies leading down the side of the body. So thumbs lead up. Inhale. Pinkies down. Exhale. Inhale. Down, tracing the side of the body. Exhale. Thumbs lead up. Inhale, soft, relax. Pinkies lead. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale.
Widen the stance a bit. Purple swallow flies high. Hands come back behind the ears. Push out in a slight angle. Inhale, don't lock the knees. Exhale. Points are pressing out, just over the legs, tracing, uh, supporting the lung meridians here. Focus on the lalum points and the second finger, just the tips of the second finger. Let's press out. Steps out. Okay. Hands close but not touching. Uh, open. Good. Open. Inhale. Exhale. Worshiping at the steeple. Expand outward. Rest here for the time can. Inhale a little bit. Exhale. Remember not to lock the knees here. Gently round the back. Expand out through the back. Nice and loud and close. close. Lead 
with the inside of the body. Okay, 
Okay, step out to your left. So sit at a comfortable depth. Right hand on the inside, left hand on the outside. Raise the left hand. Left. Come up the front. Inhale. Exhale down inside. Up the right. Come up the front. Inside. Up and down inside. Okay. Up or left. Inhale up the front. Down inside. So just alternating. Turn left to right. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Seventh and final Qigong exercise for today. Step out left. Okay, palm over palm. Make sure the knees are unlocked. Rotate. Go out, palm up. Spiral up. Pull back down. Okay, rotate the palms or rotate the hands. Then go out. Spiral up, circle, turn back to the underside. Turn heaven and earth. Okay. Turn, rotate the palms. Circle, up, pull back in underneath, palm over palm. Rotate. Yeah. 
Exhale. Back in. Curve. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. should be given to keeping the shoulder drop, particularly at this point. Try to keep the shoulder relaxed. Don't raise the shoulder or create tension in the shoulder. Remain relaxed. Just have a few breaths, be with your body, be with your spirit. Try to continue to have the mind clear for a few breaths. The last bit of intentional unity of breath, movement, and mind.
So, so as I was mentioning to everybody at our uh, outset here, that was the first seven exercises of the Wudong Qigong series. Okay, we're going to do the second seven um, on Friday morning. Okay, so you, you've seen them all at this point. You've been introduced to them all. So now we're kind of doing them in, in flow. All right, so we'll do that on Friday. And then next week, I think, um, if everybody's in agreement, if everybody's in agreement, we can do, we can move on to another uh, set of Qigong exercises. All right, but we won't, we won't leave these behind, of course. We'll keep these like in a practice rotation uh, as well. But uh, as we move on to some new ones, you do have the, the videos to reference, continue practicing these on your own uh, if you wish. Also, for those of you who don't practice Tai Chi, if you're really enjoying the Qigong, if you're digging the, the Qigong, you know, drop by on Tuesday afternoon and give the Tai Chi a try if you want. Tai Chi is in essence a moving Qigong. Okay, whereas this, this Qigong, this moving Qigong that we do now is based on uh, repetitive movements. That's why it is, you know, uh, which is one of the core aspects of Qigong, of meditation in general. Tai Chi differs a little bit in that we don't have the repetitive aspect, but we do have the intentional uh, union of mind, breath, and movement, all right? at a nice slow pace where the body is able to be very deliberate with it, very observant to it. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. Thanks for joining this morning. Yeah. Um, if you're doing the practice inside, indoors in a room, uh, I have been doing it barefoot. Do you recommend having footwear of some kind on or is doing it barefoot okay? I always wear footwear when I'm doing Tai Chi, just to give my uh, foot some support. That's just my personal preference. There are plenty of people out there that do Tai Chi barefoot, but I've been to China many, many times where Tai Chi comes from. I've never seen anybody barefoot doing Tai Chi in China. So it really is a thing with footwear, but that's, that's also because everybody's out in the parks practicing. Yeah. You know, everybody's outdoors practicing, so. Um, it's totally up to you to be barefoot or, or with shoes on. I prefer shoes just because in martial arts, uh, the type of martial arts that I do, and, and I include Tai Chi with that, I enjoy the, the support, the arch support and the support that you get from, from some very light, flat soled shoes. So when I'm doing Tai Chi, I never wear like uh, athletic shoes, cross training shoes. I, I don't like the thick soles and I don't like weight, so very light. So, the, be the shoes that you can find are as close to barefoot as you can get. Okay, <laughs> okay everybody. So our breathing is always, and the exercise is always the back, expand, and then over the top of the head, and then coming down and expanding the chest, the front part, as we get rid of the air, going down to our, um, what do you call it? The lower dantian, the lower dantian. No, lower you, dantian. is you that right? You typically will not be expanding the chest when you're coming down and, and exhaling. Okay. Oh, but it, uh, what? Do, but you have to feel it. You're exhaling coming down out of the front. Correct. Okay. Well, if that's the end point, if that's what you are practicing, typically you want to feel the breath. You want to visualize the breath coming in at the belly for the microcosmic orbit. There's, yeah. there's ways to get into it, but you can visualize breathing in through the Dantian and then yeah. starting your, your travel up the back channel and then breathing out, going down the front, okay? So when you're, when you're standing in just micro circuit breathing, essentially you want the, the chest to just remain relaxed and you feel yeah. the Dantian. So the chest okay. relaxed, that means the back is going to expand and open a bit, okay? Because okay. you, ha you have a, a yin-yang here, okay? So when one closes, the other one opens, all right? So I bet, yeah, I suppose a bit like plie ballet. When you go down in your plie, you're actually rising. 
So as we're uh, exhaling, we're in fact, our bodies are rising, our head is rising. Physically or, inten or intention? Yeah. Physical okay. body? Yeah. Well, let's, well, Myra, we can continue this after. Let, let me let everyone else let everyone else go unless you want to hang out but let's let's officially bow out to one another i know everybody has has days to to attend to but thanks for coming everybody i'll, I'll see you next time thank you so maura you you were saying yeah i think i think i understand it's from the yan chiang it goes up through the back through the top of the head and then down i'm getting rid of it down the front but in fact, when I get rid of this down the front, I'm not collapsing. I'm actually rising. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And rising. when, you, when you're doing the microcosmic orbit, I wouldn't think of it as getting rid of either. You're circulating, okay? Oh, Circul circulating. Circulating and staying oh, within. Good. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Okay, great. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, there's, some, there's some, you know, they, they've discovered, um, uh, they discovered, 